check, check. A moment of your time, Outlander? Thank you. I'm not going to talk Brad of in Khan Kadish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Kadish, beloved what can I do father. For you today? Let their memory and sacrifice How are the trials be going for you? For all have enough marks for a weapon yet? All I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Not that it takes much. I'm pleased to present to you a lodge blast sling, a lodge rope caster, and the lodge war bow. Congratulations, you're a master hunter of the lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement.
needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tech with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Asura, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Asuron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchfork. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Asuron, but I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaron vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. 
mostly on the other Asura who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation. Especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. What do you need, Aloy? I have to go. Understood. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. And I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested. Uh, we wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dungbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. I mean, some people say they're uh, shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. O okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. 
You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Oh, well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirim are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa so? More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. Grapes. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over.
a bit frivolous, isn't it? Can't be too prepared. Already.
ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. will destroy us all. They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! 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 Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this?
easier when I was a kid. I promise, I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse, some kind of holy warriors, a cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun, they worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, a most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold. Awful jangle, it scrapes your bones, it hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuron called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> if only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Eren told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've felt that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call corruptors. But there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins of Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself.
All this time I tracked you down. I thought this decision would be simple. It's not. Your... Your role in events was coerced. Perhaps you're not an evil man. Just a weak one. I am. The only strength I ever found in this life was my family. Death is what you've earned. And yet... I know what I deserve, Aloy. You shouldn't hesitate. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Owen. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. <laughs>